How's it going? It's Mr. Best Kept Secret here, and I am here with this video of episode two of my Pokey MMO series. And from the response on the last video, I received and uh, with an overwhelming response of two votes, which means that you, if you guys want, if you guys want your decisions heard, you got to uh, you got voice them in the comment section down below. But Squirtle was the Pokemon chosen by the viewers, so I am doing going to get Squirtle right now, and he is our first Pokemon in our party. And as and as you can see, Gary will take Bulbasaur as being the type difference. So I'm going to go talk to Professor Oak here real quick. And he's telling us about the Pokemon and all that stuff. And these are the uh, Pokedex. So then as we try to exit the building, Gary will want to battle us. And instantly we go into our first battle against Gary. And uh, I have mixed feelings about like the rivals in any of these games because I personally feel like they're a lot tougher than a lot of the gym leaders. But you guys can definitely voice that in the comments down below. I also have a question for you guys. Do you guys want to see a different type of Pokemon series on my channel? Because I did just download Pixelmon, which is a Pokemon mod for Minecraft. So if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And while you're there, you know, if you could leave the video a like, that would be greatly appreciated as well. As you can see in the battle here, Bulbasaur has been using Growl to decrease my attack. And I just keep on using Tackle because I just want to get this battle over with so I can heal and start our Pokemon journey. And we are pretty close to uh, defeating uh, Bulbasaur here. And uh, we're just trying to finish up the battle as quick as possible. And uh, I was trying to, uh, I was definitely going to ask your guys' opinion. Who should we use in our team uh, overall in the game? Because I know you do get a couple Pokemon as gifts uh, in this game. You get a Eevee, you get a Lapras, you get a, either a Hitmonchan or a Hitmonlee. So uh, when those times arise, you guys, I'll definitely leave it up to you guys to pick. And as you can see, we defeat Bulbasaur and Squirtle gains 67 experience points, which puts us up to level 6. And I'm definitely going to be doing some uh, training of Squirtle before the first gym battle. And as you can see, we got $60 for winning. And Gary's pretty cheesed about that, so he's going to exit very quickly, as I will as well. So I'm going to start by uh, going to uh, heal Pokemon. As you can see, there's a little bit of lag there. And if you guys didn't know, you can always just go and talk to the character's mom. And you'll be able to heal your Pokemon. So let's start our journey by going into the wild. Alright. So uh, just making our way there. As you can see, this is still an MMO type game. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys. You can do this cool little thing where you can make your Pokemon actually follow you. So there we go. There's our little Squirtle following us as we go along. Alright, so let's get into our first battle here. Alright, so our first battle is against a Rattata. Alright, level 2 should be easy to take care of as we are level 6. Alright. So we use Tackle on it. Takes away a considerable amount of its health. Alright, so also I, I do want to try and catch a Pokemon before the first gym battle. I, I might catch a Pidgey, might catch a Rattata, you never know. Um... I'm just I'm just excited to get this journey on uh, journey with you guys. All right, so we defeated the Ratata and we gained 16 experience points. All right, so let's keep making our way up towards the next city as we encounter a Pidgey. All right, here we go. It's level two as well, really weak. I think we can take care of it really quickly. All right. Also. Uh, I was just wondering what you guys think about Pokemon X and Y. I haven't played the game yet. I've been thinking about going to get it. And uh, what do you guys think of the game so far? Oh, so I'm talking to this NPC here. And they work at the Pokemon Mart. And visit, visit, visit them in Viridian City. And they gave us a sample. And they gave us a potion. That'll come in handy. Alright, so just going to keep on with our journey here. And I kind of want to get as many battles in as possible because it does train your Pokemon better. 
And uh, we haven't even encountered anybody yet, but here we go. And we're talking to another NPC, and he doesn't want to battle us, but we get into a wild battle against another Pidgey. Alright, so this one's level 3 this time. So it's definitely going to be not much more of a challenge, but it'll give us more experience at least. Alright, so that tackle by Pidgey did take out quite a bit of our health because it was a critical hit. Alright. Um... I'm going to tackle it, and hopefully it doesn't take out the rest of our health. Alright, there we go. Just got by. And we will level up after that battle. And we leveled up to level 7. Awesome. And Squirtle learned Bubble, which is definitely going to be a very effective attack against the first gym leader. I'm going to use that potion right now, though, just so that Squirtle doesn't faint. And there we go. The potion was used on Squirtle. Now we can go and try to see if we can battle any more wild Pokemon. And here we go, we face another Rattata. And it's level 3 as well. So we're quickly training up our Squirtle. And using Bubble. Hopefully that'll be a little bit more effective than Tackle. And you can actually, in this game, if you hover your cursor over top of the attack that you want to see, you can actually see its power and accuracy and the brief description on the attack. So Tackle is actually more effective to use than Bubble at this point, so I'm going to keep using that. Might not be as accurate, but it has more power, which will end these battles a lot faster. Alright, so we get into another battle. This, is, this episode's just been filled with battles of low-level Pokemon. So this one's level 2. Alright, so we're going to use Tackle again. Hopefully, I want to see if I can get this Squirtle up to around level 12, level 13 for, before the first gym battle. And uh, hopefully I can catch another Pokemon to have in our party for a little bit, just so I don't have one Pokemon. And uh, definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below on which Pokemon you would like to see in the party to begin with. Alright, so there's a, there's a bunch of people in this city running around. Oh, there's a Charizard, I think. Alright, so here's the Pokemon Mart. I definitely want to go, on, go in here. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. Yes, I did. And here is a parcel for Professor Oak. So I gotta take it back to him. And we're gonna do that right now. Here's an NPC floating in water. I'm gonna talk to him. About the two times a Caterpillar Pokemon. Just say yes, might as well. Caterpie and Weedle. Of course, a bunch of us already knew that. Oh, there's a red Gyarados. That's pretty cool. And I believe that's a shiny Arcanine. That's really rare. Alright, so we're going to go back to Pallet Town. Oh, we jumped over the ledge and bam, here's another wild Pokemon battle with a Pidgey. Alright, so we can defeat this one pretty quickly. Alright, Tackle. Takes out about, two, about almost half its health. So yeah, um, also I was thinking about uh, doing a Pixelmon series, which I talked about earlier in this video. So if you guys want me to do a Pixelmon video, go ahead, say it in the comment section down below. It's greatly appreciated. I really like reading the comment sections and also seeing that people are actually watching my videos. I know I don't have tons of subscribers, but I, I do this because I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot, and uh, hopefully you guys do too. Alright, so we're going to quickly make our way back to Pallet Town. And I'm just going to get a couple more battles in right away. Just so that uh, we can level up Squirtle even more. Alright, so this Pidgey. We do a lot of damage to it right away. And I'm, I'm going to heal up when I'm back in Pallet Town, which is going to be uh, a lot better. Alright, so Squirtle is halfway to level, I believe, 8. Alright, so I'm going to quickly go deliver this parcel back to Professor Oak. Alright, there we go. So you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. And yes, I do have a package. And there's the parcel. It's a custom Pokeball. And then Gary comes back. Alright. And he has a request for the both of us. And this is when we get our Pokedex. And here we go. He's going to give us the Pokedex 
And uh, of course, you guys know about the Pokedexes. You have to catch Pokemon to receive data. You can get their names in the Pokedex when you see them, but you don't get a full description. And of course, you use Pokeballs to catch it, but you don't have to use just a Pokeball. You can use different types. And uh, all right, guys, so I think that's a fitting way to end this video. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below whether or not you want to see me do a Pixelmon series, any critiques that you might have for me in general. And uh, just say general comments down below. Also, if you're there, leave a like. And uh, I'm going to see all you dudes and dudettes later. See you later, YouTube. Peace. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>